thank you everybody for coming out as we prepare for our annual North Iowa Band Festival celebration. We're now in our 81st year and the festival began way before Meredith Wilson's production of The Music Man. However, his inspiration was Mason City for his movie and his Broadway production and his contributions to music. That's what brings people to our community year after year. I'd like to welcome this year's Grand Marshal honorees, Gary and Sharon Lindgren, to tell a little bit about Meredith Wilson's legacy. We're here today to honor Mason City's native son, Meredith Wilson. Born in Mason City on May 18, 1902, Meredith held the record for the largest baby born in Iowa, weighing in at 14 pounds, six ounces. He is just remembered for his Broadway musical, The Music Man, for which he wrote the script, the lyrics, and the music. Wilson also wrote two other musicals, The Unsinkable Molly Brown and Here's Love. From a young age, Meredith Wilson had an immensely successful career in the music and entertainment industry. He started playing the flute and piccolo in the Mason City High School Band and went on to attend Domrush Institute in New York now known as Julio. At age 19, he joined the John Philip Sousa Band, playing the first flute, and went on to join the New York Philharmonic Orchestra in 1924. After playing in the Philharmonic, he worked in radio and the film industry, where he created radio programs and composed many pieces of music, including film score for Charlie Chaplin's first talking movie, The Great Dictator, in 1940. His song, You and I, was the number one song for 19 weeks in 1941. Meredith Wilson won many awards for his works, including the first ever Grammy, eight Tony Awards, and an Academy Award. Following his death in 1984, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Ronald Reagan. His compositions included marches, pieces for flute, two full-length symphonies, and over 300 songs. Today, on the day of Meredith's legacy, we celebrate his legacy and take pride in our musical heritage. We're honored that Meredith Wilson uh, came back to be laid to rest, you know, with uh, his family and his hometown town friends. Uh, here in Mason City. Uh, several of his family members are buried here with Meredith, including his mother, his wife, Rini, his sister, and brother. Uh, also in the cemetery are his father, his grandparents, and his great-grandparents. Uh, the Wilson Family Monument was uh, renovated in 2018, thanks to the contributions uh, from the Iowa Questers and the Music Band Foundation. Meredith's mother uh, loved bird bass in her backyard garden, and it is believed that Meredith Wilson uh, put the bird bath and sundial that you see here uh, on the family monument in memory of her. Uh, the original sundial and bird bath were made of stoneware, which over time uh, was, were damaged beyond repair. So uh, last year, these granite replicas were made uh, to replace them and were installed along with the pathway, the bench, and the flat. Uh, and we feel it's a very nice tribute to Meredith uh, you know, for doing this and, and what he's done uh, for Mason City. So we thank you again for coming uh, today to help celebrate uh, Meredith Wilson's legacy and his contributions to Mason City.